In middle school, I think my biggest inspiration in middle school was my mother. You know, her philosophy was, you know, you can't do anything without being educated. And so I, I felt like I was, I was a, a little awkward because I was all, I kind of was a visionary in my class, whereas the neighborhood I grew up in, you know, I grew up in the inner city. So, you know, the aspirations weren't that great, you know, amongst uh, my other, you know, classmates, whereas I always dreamed big, you know. I was already dreaming of Paris and Europe and going all these exotic places and, you know, so it made me a little awkward and a little different because when everybody else was saying, no, we can't, I was saying, why not? And I think we can, yeah. So that kind of made me a little awkward. They were like, they call, used to call me the dreamer because I always dreamed. And now, it's like as an adult, everything I've ever dreamed has come true. I've, I've done even things beyond that that I thought I'd never do. Let these kids be creative. Let them be creative. Let, it, let that energy flow, whether it be music or art or writing. You know, let them explore who they are. And it's, then eventually they'll fall into who, who they are as adults by, by you letting them be creative and not stifling them by sell, telling them they can't do something. You can't be a writer. You can't be about, you'll never make any money. Sometimes it's not about the money. Sometimes it's just about the creativity and putting it out there, and then the money will come back. I'm living proof of that.